everybody from Universal Orlando. We are here tonight for annual pass holder night. This is a free event for annual pass holders. You did have to register beforehand, but it's kind of like an appreciation night and we'll see what they have. We were here last year, it was over at Islands of Adventure. This year, it's at Universal Studios, and I'm excited to see what they have in store for us. I'm really excited to see what they do. It was fun last year. They had a few like special things going on, yeah. and we'll see what they have in store for us tonight. Yeah, from the looks of it, it looks like there's gonna be some special character meet and greet opportunities. The rides, hopefully, will have very low wait times. Well, I'll be able to do some of them. Yeah. You won't be able to. <laughs> E.T. Yeah, there's some specialty food <laughs> items as well, so we'll take you guys around and show you what Pass Holder Night here at Universal is all about in 2024. Like we said, the event is over on the Universal Studio side tonight. We are gonna make our way over towards the Blue Man Group Theater, and that's where we have to check in and get our wristbands. And as we get closer to the check-in location, they have these giant banners out. All right, so we are all checked in. We got our wristbands, and then right after we checked in, they gave us our UOAP magnets. So when we were getting our wristband over near the Blue Man Group, there's a QR code that you can scan on your phone, and it gives you all the special like events that are happening, um, exclusive menu items, what percentage you could get off of like merchandise. There's um, there's a special complimentary button that you could get at the five and dime, and then it tells you what like open attractions there are where like the shopping and dining is going to be. So definitely make sure you scan that QR code because this is going to be like your your map for the rest of the night. So it is exactly 7 p.m. now. The park is closed to day guests. The event has officially started, so we're going to make our way in. So we're making our way into Hollywood. A lot of the day guests are still filtering out, even though the event has officially started. So probably another 30-ish minutes or so, and that's when we'll really start to feel the light crowds, hopefully, fingers crossed. All right, so we just picked up our complimentary pass holder button over at the Five and Dime. There's actually somebody handing them out outside, so you don't have to wait in the store. You'll see that there's like a long line outside. You just wait there and get it. Now this button isn't exclusive to the pass holder nights. This is the pass holder appreciation month button. So if, even if you're not coming to pass holder nights, which if you're watching this video and you didn't already come, you won't be because this is the last night of it, you could get this during regular park hours. So I think plan for now is just to kind of walk around the park. Like I said, it's still clearing out from the day guests and who knows, maybe we'll see some characters along the way. We saw a few pictures from last night's event and they had Woody and Winnie Woodpecker, which is pretty cool. He's never here. They had uh, some of the other DreamWorks characters as well. So we'll see how many we could see. Out here over by Mel's, they have this neon UOAP sign. This will look a lot cooler at night, but the line's short, so we're gonna grab our picture now. We got the famous pizza fries. They're <laughs> usually only available during HHM, but for annual pass holder nights, they brought them back. Yeah, these are over at Louie's. Now these weren't free. You did get, I think, a little bit of a boost on your discount tonight, but we get to enjoy them two weeks early. So the pizza fries hit the spot. They also had an exclusive like gelato, almost like an ice cream sandwich type of thing. We didn't try that, but it's about 8.30 now. We're just gonna walk around, see what we can see. They have a special meet and greet with Frank the Pug from Men in Black. So I think we're gonna head back that way and we'll see if he's out. Look at this, outside of Men in Black Alien Attack, they have a meet and greet with Frank the Pug. We got some more characters out here in Springfield. There's Bart and Lisa Simpson. Ooh, look at Bart. He's getting down. Just walking through Springfield now. Crowds are pretty light. And just check wait times. The longest wait in the park is the Troller Coaster, which is a 35 minute wait. Everything else is shorter and it's only 8.30. So the ride times will definitely drop even more as the night goes on. And outside of Gotta Animal Actors, they animal had a out. skunk just hanging out on a chair over here so two animals so far in front of the horror makeup show they have woody and winnie woodpecker dressed up as dracula and the bride this is a must you never ever get to see the woodpeckers out so we're definitely gonna go say hello it's so empty there's like nobody here and the lines for all the rides are like really short so if you guys are coming here like to do a lot of the attractions this is like the perfect night to do so yeah like we're in hollywood right now there's our friends in front of us. <laughs> oh my God. But uh, there's no one else here. There's like one other person on the whole street. Out in front of Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem, you have Gru 
and the girls over here. Now, like I said, a lot of the attraction wait times are really, really short right now. Villain Con Minion Blast is only a five minute wait. There's not many attractions that you could do, so. This is one of them, so we're gonna do it. <laughs> now, to be fair, Villain Con generally has a, a very short wait time, even during the day. But rides like Revenge of the Mummy, I just checked the app, only a 20 minute wait for that right now. Harry Potter is 30 minutes. And then like I said before, as the night goes on and it gets a little bit later, those will go down even more. I still have no idea what I'm doing in Minion Blast. Me I just neither. fire away. Wait, me neither. And I thought I was doing good until you told me your score. And I was like, I guess I'm horrible. I got 683,000. I got 275,000. <laughs> Over here at Music Plaza, they have a DJ out and about. I think this is like where the Coca-Cola stuff is. Jump on it, jump on it. Jump on it, jump on it. They have a little Sprite stand over here. It says, try the coldest Sprite yet. Is this the coldest Sprite yet? I, that's what they say. Let's, Let's see. see. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> oh my God, what does it taste like? It tastes like some sort of like medicine or something. In what might be the most unintentionally funny photo op that's here, they have this giant Coke <laughs> light up sign. Oh my gosh, the king has returned. Labby the cabbie. We have to say hello. Hey, Labby. We miss you. Oh, I miss you guys. Just when we thought <laughs> Pass Holder Night's going to get any better. Oh, look, at look who's here. Labby <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> Just happened to be rolling through New York. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, normally I'm a Hollywood cabbie. <laughs> Love it. We're originally from New York, so. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so Revenge of the Mummy is actually a ride now, so we're going to take advantage of that. Obviously, Alex can't go on, but I'm going to go on with our friends, so we'll see you in a few minutes, because it's not every day you get to ride now on the Mummy. So the Mummy was a true ride now. We waited maybe not even five minutes. We basically walked right onto the ride, and then in the ride, like after you, you know, got your lap bar checked, they had UOAP nights projected on the wall, like in the actual ride, which I thought was cool. Obviously you can't film on any of the rides, so I couldn't show it, but it was a nice little touch, just like a simple projection on the wall was cool. Oh man, look at the Ghostbusters Frozen Empire food booth all lit up at night. Only two more weeks. So they are doing a special showing of Cinesational tonight at 9.30. I don't think we're gonna stick around to watch it. I think we're gonna do other things, but that's a nice little perk they're doing. We're currently in line for Woody Woodpecker, but you can see Cinesational is starting now. So the line is a little lengthy, so we're not gonna film Winnie and Woody Woodpecker, but they look awesome in their Halloween outfits, dresses Dracula and the Bride. So cool to see them here. So before, by the animal actor stage, it was a skunk. Now, there's a pig. Look at him. Oh my god. He's scratching himself. <laughs> He's so cute. Look at him. That's amazing. Aww. Only at Universal could you get a meet and greet with a pig. I just checked the Universal app, and every single attraction is currently 25 minutes or less. Gringotts is like a 15 minute wait and then everything else is longer. I think the longest ride right now is E.T. and there's an hour left in the event. So the wait times for attractions have been pretty low. The character meet and greet lines have been line pretty so long. Ridiculous. And that's because the characters are rare. Like you don't get to see Woody and Woody Woodpecker. You never get to see animals like, you know, Frank the Pug or anything like that. So those are a little longer than the actual ride Matt times are. So the Frank the Pug meet and greet is over here. The line comes all the way back to the nightmare fuel stage. The one section of the park that we haven't been in so far is Diagon Alley. So I think we're gonna take a walk through there. I know Alex wanted some ice cream. We'll see if we get that. And then maybe we'll get on Gringotts. Like I said, it was a 15 minute wait. So that's short enough for me. Are you gonna do butterbeer ice cream? I think so. Yeah? I can always go for butterbeer ice cream. It's my absolute favorite, so I think so. And look how empty Diagon Alley is right now. It's pretty rare that you get to see this much of the ground when you're here during the day. And look at that, Escape from Gringotts, a 15 minute wait. Well done, dragon. Not much left, but <laughs> did get butterbeer ice cream. It's so good. Like, 
Remember when we tried the ice pop version? Yeah. Guys, don't ever get that. It's not good. Well, like, don't get it over this. No. This is the superior yeah, butter beer. I mean, if you're here and you're going to get one, you have to get the ice cream. Like, there's <laughs> no there's no debate at all. It's so good. So we have a half an hour left of pass holder night. I don't know what we're going to do um, for the rest of the time, but it's been great so far. Like, all the wait times have been low. There's some really cool characters that you can see. They did sensational. So I'm really enjoying it. I like it here. Yeah. I feel like, I mean, it was nice at Islands of Adventure as well, but I, it's just as fun here at Universal. Yeah, I agree. All right, so that's going to do it for our night here at Universal for Pass Holder Night. We had the best time. It was such a chill night. Yeah. The video is not on the longer side because we just spent a lot of the night hanging out. Mm -hmm. We were here with friends. We had an awesome time just enjoying an empty park. Yeah. We got to go on a couple of rides, see some rare characters. Labby the Cabby was back. I know. That, it was like, fun. That made my night. And also, it's just so nice being in the park with not as many people. You get to just like walk around and really like soak it all in. Um, they got to the ride The Mummy, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, we got to try some of the food. So it was just, it was really nice to see like the characters, Woody the woodpecker, <laughs> like they're never out. No. So that was like super rare. I'm so glad we got to meet them. Yeah, and Woody the woodpecker is, you know, the official mascot of Universal Studios. Yeah. So he's like their version of, of Mickey Mouse. So it was cool to see him. But yeah, it was just a fun night and it was just really nice that Universal did this. Yeah. There was a lot of complaining on the, the pass holder group from night one and to be honest, like, I don't know what you're complaining about. This yeah. is a, a free thing. They don't have to they don't, do this. Right, they don't have to do this. Yeah. This isn't included with your pass. I mean, it is if you got in, mm -hmm. but it's not a, a normal perk. Yeah. And it was just really nice that they decided to put this event on. They had a couple of like small giveaways. Mm. They had some exclusive food items. So overall, I thought it was great they did it. And the team members, like multiple different team members throughout the night were saying like, thank you for being a pass holder. Yeah. We appreciate you guys. Like, it was really nice to hear that. Yeah. And like Matt said, they don't have to do anything like this. So we really enjoyed it. And thank you to Universal for putting this on for us. Yeah, it was awesome. And we had... I think a better time this year than last year. Yeah. Last year was over at Islands, and yeah, of course, you have Hagrid's and Velocicoaster mm -hmm. and some of the bigger rides, but it, it felt less crowded mm -hmm. than it did last year, and it was just fun. Like, how often do you get to walk around an almost empty park? Yeah. We've never been to an Orlando Informer event, and I imagine mm -hmm. that's even more empty than this. Yeah. So it was fun. Again, thanks to Universal for deciding to do something like this for the annual pass holders. We had so much fun. We hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us. And if you are an annual pass holder and you didn't get a chance to make it out for this year's event, they typically do this every year. So keep mm -hmm. your eyes out for next year. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel down below so you don't miss out on all of our future Universal videos to come. And with that being said, I'll see you guys real soon.